I'm, I'm sorry, uh, but this Ron Paul is going to destroy this party if they keep, if, if this, this, this is nuts on parade. The media loves this guy as nuts on parade. They want the whole Republican Party to be identified with the kookiness of Ron Paul. Hey, let Ron get nukes. It's our fault anyway. 1979 happened because they weren't minding our own business. That audience goes nuts. And, oh, my gosh. What am I watching here? Oh, no, look who's on Fox. Oh, 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 there he is outside the ice cream stand. Good old Ron Paul. Yeah, that's what we need. More of that. I saw a video clip, and I forgot to send it to Jaron. It was, um, it's in uh, Paul Watson's article from, um, from Saturday. What's the headline? Forget the hoax. Ron Paul is a presidential frontrunner. And in that is a clip of Limbaugh in his studio. Looks like his home studio, not the regular one. And he's talking horrible about Ron Paul and has genuine hatred of him. And then he turns to the television and he says, there he is in front of the ice cream stand in Iowa. And goes, this is just great. It's funny because I'd seen that same day. I guess later in the afternoon, Ron Paul at the, in front of the ice cream stand where they were interviewing people at the Iowa straw poll. And it was that hatred that he had. That's why you never hear me come out and bash Rush Limbaugh and talk about how he's a drug addict, pill head, uh, synthetic heroin head, uh, and all the rest of it. Because you know what? At the end of the day, uh, I don't like just hating on other media personalities. But to see his hatred of Ron Paul, to see him demonize Ron Paul, to see him say, Ron Paul can't win, it'll destroy the Republican Party. Hey, hey, Rush, if people like Ron Paul don't get into power in this country, America's over, buddy boy. Ron Paul has laid out everything that was going to happen with total precision. And it's archetypal that he's the man of the hour right now and is the real front runner who could unify this country and kick the globalist out of here at great risk to his own life. And you sit there selling the establishment line. You know, it's not just re mainline radio talk show hosts that now talk about the New World Order and the Federal Reserve because they have to because of this show and others and the Internet just to s stay pertinent, to even stay in the game, to stay relevant. It was people like Newt Gingrich who wrote the foreword to Alvin and Heidi Toffler's books, two of them, where he openly calls for world government and the end of the United States. Go, go pull up the quotes. A guy that supports carbon taxes, a guy that was sent in there to sabotage like Boehner's doing, the true conservative libertarian revolution of 1994. A total CFR globalist picked by the CFR to run for Congress decades ago because he wrote books totally calling for world government. And what did Newt Gingrich say? Well, we shouldn't abolish the Fed, but oh yes, I do want it audited. And, 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 and just a few years ago, he fought auditing it publicly. And... and Ron Paul turned to him and he said, I am so glad that uh, the mainstream is starting to join me. See, that's what's happening. We're winning. They're bleeding out. And so what do they do? They sit up there like a bunch of demonic parrots in a tree saying the same thing over and over again. There is no world government. There is no global banking cartel. But there is, and they're going to fix things with a global VAT tax that Bill O'Reilly pushes.